In this video, we're going to model and generate a complete cost estimate for a basement foundation for this particular model. We're going to do that using two plugins. We're going to use Profile Builder 2, which is an awesome plugin created by Dale Martins, which allows you to extrude any profile, whether it's some in his library or you can create your own library, of profiles such as trim or gutters or in this case footings, foundations, and different, different profiles that you wish to extrude around a path. Uh, you could also create assemblies, and I'm going to open up one here, which allows you to combine profiles and components. So in this case, I've got an assembly of a 10 inch by 9 foot foundation wall that I've created, and it's full of a lot of different uh, objects here, so best just to see it. We're going to start building that assembly by clicking on a start point. And you can see as I'm going around, it's starting to put a whole lot of, uh, of information in there. I've got a footing um, with two runs of steel in it. You can see it in the highlighted section. I've got a foundation wall. I've got a waterproofing system on there. I've got a drain tile. I've got gravel on the inside. I've got a expansion joint um, up top. I've got a treated sill plate, 2 by 6 sill plate that sits a half inch off the foundation wall so the sheathing can tie into it. I've got anchor bolts that are within a foot from the end and every six foot thereafter. So a whole lot of stuff going on in one simple uh, uh, drawing around the house. So we're going to just snap to each of these corners. And then we're going to get down to the end. Okay. So now we have a simple foundation going around the house. I'll close that for a second and open up Estimator. When I open up Estimator and click on this foundation, you're going to see a bunch of dollar amounts in here that are a, or a total dollar amount that's based on using components, layers, and materials that we'll talk about in just a second. So for instance, this footing, this 10 by 20 footing, I may choose to use its length to determine how many lineal footage of, of form work I need to do. I may use the uh, cubic yardage of it for the actual material. Um, I may take the lineal footage of these 2x6 plates to figure out how many treated 2x6x16s I need, how many anchor bolts I need, how many rolls of drain tile, how many tons of gravel. And these are all assigned using Estimator, which we'll, you'll see in other videos. But let's take this uh, waterproofing, for example, just to show you how materials work in here. Right now, the assembly, I just have it a generic waterproofing going around the whole thing. But in reality, I've got a daylighted basement here, a walkout basement. So I want to edit this waterproofing so that it's not going all the way up to the foundation. Because I'll be putting a veneer on here that I don't want to stick to waterproofing. So I'm going to edit, edit this material here. And I'm basically going to draw a line where I think grade is going to go. So I can get a more accurate count of the square footage of this waterproofing. So push pull that out of there. I'm going to come around to the other side and do the same thing. Following where grade would be. Push pull that out of there. Okay. All right. Further, let me close estimator here. I'm going to go into my materials and I'm using a texture I named waterproofing. You can use any color. You can use any other texture that you want. I made this one called waterproofing and I'm assigning a dollar amount to the square footage of this particular texture. So I'm going to just use that color to paint just one face of this waterproofing. Now when I click on the waterproofing itself and I go to Estimator and I go to Materials, Waterproofing, you can see I've got my cost code, my description, my vendor. I'm using the attribute of square feet and it's $1.75 per square feet. So I'm getting a total cost up in here and it's accurate. Okay, so let's close that out. Let's go back into the assembler and let's put a, uh, a stem wall. Let's choose another assembly that I've created. That's this little stem wall that's going to go in the walkout portion of this basement. So I'm going to go right from here. You can see it's putting a footing. It's putting a little short foundation wall to get down to frost depth. It's um, putting my anchor bolts in. Uh, it's putting in my uh, foam insulation that I've got in here and rebar in the footing. Okay, so we now have the perimeter of our of our house here in the foundation. Next thing I'm going to do is put a slab in here. So I'm going to just start, uh, you can model this by any, any of your means that you're used to. You could trace around this perimeter. This is a simple one, so I'm just going to do that with just a couple of rectangles. I'll get rid of this line that's in the center. And I'm going to use push-pull to come up four inches for my slab thickness. Okay. I'm going to triple click on that 
and I'm going to assign the texture of concrete on there because I want it to look right. Then I'm going to make that a component and I'm going to call that a slab. Okay, and now I have a component for that slab. I'm going to go over to my entity info and I'm going to change the layer from zero and I'm going to put that on a layer that I use for basement slabs that has costs associated to that in my template. So now I've assigned that to basement slab. So now when I go over to estimator and I click on that slab and I go to layers, you can see I've got quite a few uh, different costs associated with that. I've, I'm using the attribute of square feet for the labor for placing that slab. I've got nine cubic yards of concrete, so I'm using the cubic yardage. Um, I've got using the square footage for my termite protection. I'm using the, the square footage to determine how many rolls of poly that I have underneath there. I'm using the square footage for cutting and sealing that slab and square footage for the formwork. So you can add as many associated costs as you like. So now that we've got everything in there, we've got a complete foundation for this house, we'll select everything. Estimator will then give us a total dollar amount. We can run a report on that, an HTML report, and we can see everything that's associated with that slab, that, we, that foundation that we did in just a matter of minutes. Everything from the foundation with labor, materials, uh, drain tile. We can see that we've got our waterproofing system in there, our termite protection, how much concrete we have in here. Um, so, and how many tons of gravel that we have going around there. So you're getting a lot of information in a very short period of time. So thank you for watching.